ladies, I'm back. It's Miss Meek Meek and I am here with another video featuring, as you can see from the title, the new launch collection from MAC, The Novel Romance. Um, and I purchased a few things and I purchased, I think, two things that were not a part of the collection. But I did want to share with you what I purchased um, for the collection. So let's get started with that. So I did receive my package today in the mail. It's brand new. I peeked inside just to make sure nothing was broken or cracked or anything like that. And um, I'm ready to go. So I first want to start off with the, um, the I, bought, I purchased both eyeshadow quads. And the first one is the uh, pa A Passionate Quest Quad. And this one is the purple quad and really nice. It has uh, the wrong man, serenade, brazenly, and stay sultry in it. And it's really nice. Um, make sure you can see that. It has a nice uh, brow bone color, a nice highlight color. This is the brow bone, of course. This is your highlight. Um, this could be your, your eyelid color. And if you want to smoke it out. You have this one also. Um, I saw the Kelly Osborne, Osborne collection along with her mom Sharon. And this, um, I may be wrong, but just from being online, it kind of reminded me of her palette. I did not purchase that palette, but I did go ahead and get this one. And um, so I'm, I'm happy about it. I wanted, I've been wanting some purples, especially for the winter time, fall and winter coming up. And um, I did achieve that with this uh, quad palette right here. So... Hopefully, I'll be getting a tutorial out soon. Then, I have a Novel Romance quad. This one, I really love because it has like a, a greenish color with specks of gold in it. But then, it has gold. But it's like a, I don't know if it's like, it's like a really, really light green. Then it's like a forest green. But it, and then it has the browns to offset it. And the names on this palette is My Fantasy, Fall in Lust, Dance in the Dark, and Rise in Passions. And um, I can't wait to use this palette. It looks so pretty. Um, I was kind of looking at it. Um, and you probably can't see that. But it has that speck of gold there. And I'm just like so in love with it. Here is the green that I was telling you about. And I mean, it is beautiful. And I really cannot wait to, to use this palette, ladies. I'm so excited. So, um, in my opinion, MAC did not fail me on the palettes. And, of course, I probably got some colors similar to it. But uh, as far as these are concerned, I'm happy that they came out with this. As far as the lipsticks are concerned, so the first one I have is Good Kisser. And what I'm going to do is for each lipstick that I use, that I do, I'm going to do a lip swatch so you can see it on my lips so that you will not um, be like, hmm, what does that look like? Especially for us darker ladies, uh, or should I say brown skin girls. I don't want to offend anybody, but um, sometimes what may look good on the camera is not what you want it to look like on your lips so I will swatch them for you so this is called good kisser it is a pretty pink um, it has a little bit of a blue undertone it kind of reminds me just by looking at it of um, either up the amp or girl about town more so girl about town probably kind of looks just like girl about town so um yeah as a matter of fact so it kind of reminds me of girl about town and um but i can't find my girl about town so it actually does not look like up the amp i do apologize but it kind of does remind me of girl about town so if you have girl about town um, without swatching it and just looking at it, that is what it really does look like, okay? So, I also have, the next one is Lingering Kiss. And, it is, 
looks like that. I kind of swatched it on my hand already. So, very nice though. It's a really pretty dark, deep reddish brown. Um, and I think that if you're looking for something sort of similar to it, it will be Fix on Drama. And let me just show you both of them. Although Fix on Drama has a little bit more red to it. Uh, if you don't want to purchase anything like this, you know, it would, add, for me, um, in my collection, Fix on Drama is closer to that. So, that is that one. And I like it. Um, and again, here's a swatch for you. Next color I have is called Myself. And it is a beautiful pinky nude mauve. So for those of you looking for a nice pretty nude color, um, this is beautiful. And um, personally, I think that it is comparable to maybe Hug Me if you have Hug Me. And Hug Me may be just a little bit deeper. And of course, my Hug Me is almost going to run out. But so it might be just a little bit deeper. But you know, so you have an idea. And here's a swatch of this one for you. The next color in my collection is Smoked Purple. Now, Smoked Purple was not a part of the um, Novel Romance collection, but baby, I've been wanting this color. And the reason why I wanted it was because I love, 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 love my purples. And I thought that this was beautiful. And I am a, in the winter time last year, I rocked Fixed on Drama and I also rocked Rebel um, a lot. And I was like, oh, this would be beautiful to add to my collection. So that is why I have this smoke purple. And I mean, it is gorgeous, honey. If you are a girl that does not mind taking a chance and wearing a dark lipstick, um, you know, natural eye, natural face with a dark lipstick, baby, this is the one for you, honey. I am going to definitely be rocking this during the fall and the winter time quite a bit. So... Um, it's a beautiful color, you know, and ladies, you can pull it off. You can pull off anything you want. Don't let anybody tell you the difference. So it is gorgeous. I think it's beautiful. Uh, we're all beautiful. So work it out. Honey. The next color that I have is Hearts of Flame. It is a beautiful blue base brownish red and in my personal opinion i am a ruby Roo girl but i am definitely going to be rocking this during the winter time you know because you don't always want to have my husband calls them hooker lips whatever so when you want just a more darker deeper this is what i'll be going for um i want to show you something else And in comparison to what I was wearing last year, Fixed on Drama, this is Fixed on Drama, of course, and this is the Hearts of Flame. You can see that, you know, I was definitely wearing that Fixed on Drama, honey. And so this Hearts of Flame is going to be one of my go-to lipsticks this fall and winter. And here's the swatch. The next one I have is called Yield to Love. It is a nice, pretty blue base pink, little mauve undertone to it, and I think it's beautiful for those who are don't who don't want to have that boom, bam, pow, honey. Look at me with this um, amplified or uh, what is that called? Shucks. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, I can't remember right now. But anyway, you know what I'm talking about. If you want just a more toned down pink, this is for you. It's beautiful. It's I think that it will look wonderful on women of all skin tones. Um, it, it has a little bit of a mauve to it. And I, I think it does have like a little bit of a blue base. 
Uh, I think it's a gorgeous color, and I do really believe anybody can wear it. Um, it I, in my opinion, I feel as though uh, MAC outdid themselves, so to speak, with these colors, because I am in love with these colors for the fall and winter. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you come and see me again. And until next time, bye ladies.